welcome to this episode of Open SCAD by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, we're going to take a look at something. Now, this has sort of been one of those things I've wanted to do for a long time, and I just haven't got around to doing it. Sort of a universal base creator. So one of the things, I've gotten a new uh, water cooling pump for my CO2 laser, and I wanted to print a base for it, um, and, and to print out actually in TPU to uh, reduce the vibration transfer into the tabletop. And so I started coding this and I thought, you know, how many times have I coded something to create a base? I decided to create a universal base designer and here it is. And, you know, while this isn't too exciting in itself, there's a couple pieces I wanted to show you guys that I thought was kind of interesting. So one of the things down here for the base itself, what I decided to do rather than use a cube or some sort of other standard geometry, I actually used a cylinder. And then what I've done is up here I've added uh, the number of sides. So again, if I want a square, all I do is change the 60 to a 4, and boom, I've got a square. Now I may have to upsize it a little bit for the piece, um, you know, because it's going to keep the, the radius of the outer edge here. Uh, but now one of the other cool pieces I decided to add to this was rotate base. So now you see how the base is like this. I can now add, and hopefully I get my math right and not embarrass myself, but I can do a 45 and see how this now goes like this. Uh, so I can actually do some pretty interesting things, or, you know, I can change it to um, 25 degree angle. I can make it whatever degree angle and make it whatever... Uh, relational shape that I want in, in reference to the stance. So I thought the combination of these two were, were rather cool pieces, if you will. And, you know, if I wanted to create sort of a, well, not sort of, actually a hexagon, if I put in, if I put in six, I've now got to have a hexagon. And if I want to rotate this by 45 because I don't like where the points are pointing, I can do that too and I can rotate it and uh, again uh, <coughs> excuse me it goes to the outside radius so you might have to kick this up a little bit in the uh, base diameter so I've got the base diameter set here to 50 sorry 75 I'm thinking of something else and then if you look at my dims on my X and Y for the standoffs it's coming pretty close and also given that I'm making these 10 millimeters in diameter so I tell you what, I've printed one of these out. So let's go ahead, let's watch the time lapse, and then we'll meet back at the bench and see how it looks. So let's head over there. Okay, welcome back from that time lapse, and here we are with the finished product. It turned out uh, rather nice, so uh, printed in TPU with a very low infill, so it's rather flexible, kind of rubbery, and uh, matches up perfectly with the standoffs at the bottom for the pump, so maybe I can get this in here. And so screws go in the bottom there, mates with the pump, and sits on the desk and isolates the vibration. That simple. So this is just sort of a great handy little tool because all the time I'm coming up with, you know, hey, I got to print a base for this, base for that, and here you go. I can now just go to Open SCAD, put in a couple dims, and voila, I have a base. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. Hopefully you took something away from this. I think using a cylinder for this bottom piece is rather interesting. I did go with a circle in this, but you can make it into any shape. You can rotate the holes, so very flexible. So again, Give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.